Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara and today I am doing my current favorite like obsessions at the drugstore and I wanted to do this because when I first started my channel a lot of what I talked about was affordable makeup, affordable, you know, drugstore stuff. That's like where I got my entire start and I have recently, you know, invested a little more in makeup and stuff like that. And ever since that, I just decided that I wanted to do a updated kind of current favorites at the drugstore. And I've just got to give a little disclaimer right now. I am pet sitting um, the Yorkie that I filmed with a few weeks ago. I am here with Jovi. She is currently smelling something like right underneath the camera. So if I'm a little distracted and whatever, that is why. So here she is. She is... A little confused right now and that's gonna make filming very interesting I think so let's just go ahead and get started so this is the baby skin primer I'm gonna kind of go in order of which you would do your makeup I would just want to start off this whole video by saying I have very oily skin and anything that works for me may not work for you if we just have different skin types or whatever but this seriously just helps to fill my pores and make everything look really even and nice and it's just a great canvas for putting on foundation and I am just in love with this primer I think it's awesome and great and yeah I honestly don't have a foundation at the drugstore that I'm super obsessed with anything I've tried I have liked but not been like this is my all-time favorite foundation like I have with the Makeup Forever one or the Naked Urban Decay one I have so this however is a favorite this is the Pure BB Cream by Maybelline I'm in the shade light medium and I don't typically go for like a no makeup makeup day that's just not my thing if I'm gonna do my makeup I'm gonna like go all in but if I want something a little bit lighter on the skin, if I'm having breakouts and, you know, there's a lot of benefits in here and I just reach for this for stuff like that or if I'm going to a pool or whatever. So yeah, definitely recommend this. It's a great BB cream um, and you will see a lot of Maybelline in this video. I have two powders to talk about, both awesome, both kind of for different things. First, this is the NYX Radiant Finishing Powder, and this swirled together just looks so beautiful. It gives you such a nice, like, I don't know, I don't even know. It just, it glues everything together. I love using this. I love using this row, especially just right underneath my eyes. I think it looks awesome. And then along with that, I love the Stain Matte Powder. This is just an all-time YouTube favorite I think it's awesome um, and it's just a great powder as well and my font is starting to rub off that is how much I use and love this I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this next one that you've probably heard a thousand times before this is the NYC smooth skin bronzing powder in the shade 720a sunny I have honestly talked about this bronzing powder so, so much on my channel. It's just one of my all-time favorites. I gravitate towards this more than a lot of high-end bronzers, and this is just one of my go-tos always. I have quite the blush obsession, and it's just one of those things that I'm just going to own a lot of forever. So naturally, I have multiple to talk about. This first one is just such a great deal. I think these are $6. This is an e.l.f blush palette. I think this is in the lighter shade. Um, there's like a light one and a dark one and these just look so beautiful. They are so pigmented. You just need like one little tap and you're good. And I just really love all the colors and all the pigmentation in this and e.l.f. just blew me away with this one for sure. And I have two baked blushes by Milani. These are also beautiful. This first one is more of a bronzer type of one and is in Bellissimo Bronze. It looks like this. It's beautiful. I'm wearing it in my crease. That's kind of been my go-to thing lately. And then this one used to be one of my all-time favorite blushes, like one of the top ones I wore every single day and this is in Coralina such another gorgeous color and yeah these are both awesome the baked blushes by Milani are so good I recommend them especially if you're just starting out you like these will work great for you next I have a wet n wild blush this is the color icon ombre blush in the shade um 
Mai Tai buy you a drink? Yeah, Mai Tai, Mai Tai buy you a drink. <laughs> this is a beautiful color. Love it so much. It looks so great on my skin tone and it's just super pretty and natural and just beautiful. I love it. I'm a huge fan. Wet n Wild seriously outdoes themselves because this was like $3 I want to say and just hands down a beautiful blush. Another Maybelline product. This is the color tattoo in the shade Barely branded, gorgeous color. I just really like how it looks all over the lid and I can just change it up. It's so versatile and just, you know, like a go-to shadow for me and just so easy. Really, color tattoos are some of the best, I think, for starting out, especially if you just put them on your lid and call it a day. You can throw like one shade in the crease and you have a complete well-rounded look. That's seriously what I've been doing non-stop and this color is just gorgeous. And um, yeah, color tattoos are awesome. I own like three of them, I think, and um, they're just great. I have two lip products to share with you. And again, lip products, I just have so many of. I don't know why or how it happens, but this one is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the shade Sultry. One of my go-to colors in the winter and fall and honestly, year round. These are awesome. They are so pigmented, so wearable. They feel great on your friggin' lips and they're so minty. And um, I'm just a huge fan of these as well as the NYX Butter Glosses. These are also just so easy. The wear time is pretty good, I think, for a lip gloss that is from the drugstore. It's only like $4. So yeah, definitely recommend NYX. NYX just has a ton of lip products that I want to try more of. Trust me that they have so many good ones and I hear so many great things about a lot of them. So definitely check out NYX for lip products if you are in the market for drugstore makeup. Next, I'm just going to talk about two mascaras and we will be finishing it up. These are both from Maybelline, of course. This one is the Rocket Volume Express Mascara. It's what I'm wearing today. It's what I wear almost every single day. It's awesome. And then this one is the Last, well, Lash Sens... This one is called the Last... Lash Sensational. Yeah. And I love the wand on this one. It really helps to oomph up your lashes. And typically, I use this one after using this one. I use this one to kind of get a get a go. And then this one is like the throttle, pedal to the metal. And um, I don't know. I just really like both of them. I never really know how to describe mascara, especially. Um, I feel like I'm pretty bad at describing a lot of things, but especially mascara. I'm just like... It makes my lashes look long, like what else could you want? So that is it for my current drugstore favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed and found it helpful. Please give a thumbs up if you did and leave me any kind of comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. She has been running around in my room causing problems and I'm trying to let her be a puppy but oh my goodness, I have stuff to do, dog. She is so sweet though, so I just wanted to give her a little shout out for being my filming buddy. She can see out the window now, so she's pretty excited.